you're at the free throw line in a crowd of shit and CP3, was that a surreal moment? Yeah, it was. Uh, Dario looked at me and started laughing, and I couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> that was that was the first. Yeah. Uh, Chris, you uh, uh, and after your first regular season game here and getting that under your belt, do you feel that there's anything about your game that you're going to be emphasizing more or de-emphasizing based on playing for the Warriors being in the system now? Um, I don't know. I'm just excited about it, to tell you the truth. Uh, there's a lot of good things we did tonight, a lot of not so great things, but uh, the freedom, you know, the, the pull-up threes, you know, that I got a chance to shoot tonight. Um, I don't know. I mean, when you're playing with, you know, guys that, that shoot it as good as, you know, Steph and Clay consistently, you know, uh, I think the more games you just get more and more comfortable of, you know, being aggressive, finding that balance. What was the difference? You finished the first half with like two points and then just like went off in the third. Figuring it out. <laughs> you know, we didn't have all of a few preseason games. And uh, this is our first regular season game. So just just figuring it out. We, uh, we figured it out on the fly. You know, so um, I think with more games, you know, we'll get more and more comfortable. Uh, Steve credited you with just organizing the offense because you, I think you guys only had like 11 turnovers tonight and the team led the league in turnovers last year. What, how do you kind of try to organize this offense and what are, you, what are you learning as you are, you know, each and every day with these new guys around you and, um, and how you play within the system? Uh, this was one regular season game. A lot of them playoff, I mean, preseason games. We had a gang of turnovers. You know, we had like 22 and one of them or whatnot. And I think the thing we just keep talking about is the balance of playing fast but under control. You know, so um, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out how we, we're going to play this year. It's not about what they done did in the past or all this stuff like that. It's about what our team is going to do right now in order for us to be successful. You, you mentioned the freedom you had with, with Stephen Clay out there. Do you mean just like open threes, like you're more open than usual from three? Yeah, and that pace of just shooting pull-up threes. And, you know, you got a lot more space a lot of times now, too, with those guys out there. And just knowing that the ball ain't going to stick, you know what I mean? Like, like with me either, you know, just trying to, you know, play through the bigs, dribble handoffs and, and things like that. That's what's been fun. You know, even in practice, two on the side, got cut through all this stuff. So uh, I, I'm just excited. You, you playing a lot with Moses Moody at times out there. He obviously had a really nice uh, first game today. What have you seen from him? Just uh, his communication. Like I said, we're all getting used to each other. You know, me and Steph play two totally different ways, you know, and so that's an adjustment for a lot of these guys. It's an adjustment for us. Um, but we have so many different units that can play, especially when Dre get back. You know what I mean? So that's going to be a whole nother uh, group of us sort of getting used to each other. But it's promising because one thing about teams is you can tell the spirit. You know, spirit is something that you can't hide, you know, when guys is frowning or mad or whatnot. So what I'm excited about our team is, you know, the spirit is right. Chris, I, I know you mentioned that you, the freedom of shooting, but it was a tough shooting night for you guys overall. Is it something where it's just going to be an adjustment? And because you have that freedom, you have more time maybe to to set for your shots instead of just maybe taking the first look? Or Yeah, I ain't really worried about the shooting. You know, I've been on a team that missed 27 straight threes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think that's going to be the case over here. I'm not going to worry, you know, with the shooters that we got. You know what I mean? And guys being unselfish and, and passing up shots. Um, I, I live with the shots that we got every night. Chris, is there any value to – you've known Steph for 20 years or something like that. You've played against him so many times. Did you feel like any of that helped the early chemistry that you had with each other? Uh, yeah, but I think more so just not the fact that I've known him for a long time. It's the more the basketball – you know, like 
I came off a ball screen today and threw it up to the top and ran to the corner, and I was open for a three, and I looked over at Steph and said, I, that's, <laughs> that's what he usually do. I think we've all played against each other so much that we sort of know how we can be complementary to each other, but we only going to figure that out as we get more time playing together. There was one play when it was really scattered, and maybe a turnover led to another turnover. Balls bouncing around, maybe speed up, and you got it at half court and kind of looked around and said, stop it. Uh, do you remember that, or do you remember that emotion? And how easy is that for you to do? Obviously, you've been in this league a long time, but a new team, new players, where you can just say, hey, guys, l l let's calm down a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> I think it was in the first half or whatnot, but you can just see it. You know, when you're watching games, I'm, that's what I'm always thinking about when I'm playing, because usually when it get like that, either a bad shot or a turnover going to come. But, you know, we got guys who are able to make great plays out of sort of bad situations. But that's a trust thing. That's a communication thing, you know, and stuff that we've been working on. Chris, you talk about uh, over here adjusting to new teammates, figuring it out. Seem like you and Dari are particularly comfortable together. You're in a lot of pick and rolls. How How much... Does that familiarity and that bond, that rapport on the court translate, do you think, to? Uh, it's nice because, you know, I think we missed Dario big time even last year in Phoenix. So when you get a chance to reconnect with a guy like that, and that's why I keep saying about our team, um, sometimes we almost got guys that's too unselfish. You know, so when you play with a guy like Dario, he don't want nothing but to make the right play. You know, whatever he got to do. Um, and so it's, it's fun to play with guys like that. Chris in the back over here, just talked with Devin and he said that he learned a lot from you and being in that situation tonight where he had to find guys. What is it? I know that you were on the wrong end of it tonight, but how did it feel to see him take those lessons from you and, and deliver the way he did? Man, Book is a, is a brother to me, for real, aside from all the basketball stuff. So, um, it was good to get out there and compete against him, you know, and when you're out there and you're on the bench, you sort of know what he's about to do and what he's going to try to get to and the moves he's going to try to get to. But I know at the end of the day, he's a competitor, you know what I mean? And I'm the same way. And so, um, you know, it's always fun to compete against guys who, who you know going to bring out the best in you. One last one. Did you <clears throat> yeah, just – Bruised it when I came down. Oh, I'll be all right. Yeah. Gilbert, what, what did you think the difference was to, down the stretch there for, for the Suns to pull that out? Uh, they made some timely shots. Uh, we didn't get stops when we, when we really needed them. Uh, came up with some loose balls uh, that we kind of needed down the stretch, but. Uh, they just out executed. I feel like we got good shots. We just didn't make them, and uh, you know they hit some huge shots down the stretch. That's about it. I think we played hard. I think we did the right things we, uh, to get you know shots to win. We just didn't make them. Chris kind of had a big third quarter. How do you think he just kind of fit in um, with this offense and, and played in his debut? Uh, I think he played really well. You no, know, uh, he fit in. Uh, with our offense, and he kind of changed the pace for us. He gave us a different look. Uh, he was able to slow down when we kind of got a little chaotic and different things like that. So uh, he did everything we expected out of him. Uh, we, uh, you know, he had a great preseason, been a great training camp. So none of it, this is a surprise, and uh, we're gonna need him to be good all year. I know you're always prepared for whatever lineup things happen, but Curry said. The closing could be anybody like you know it's just he's told you guys he talked about it do you think there's a greater preparation now even that you know like tonight Wiggins doesn't necessarily close that there could be any number of options that could could close this game uh definitely you know you gotta be ready for anything uh I think the strength in our team is our depth and uh all the talent that we got coming off the bench and uh so uh, whoever got to roll is probably going to close the game. That's how Steve always kind of liked to roll. And uh, we all got to be mentally prepared for uh, whatever happens. And when our number is called on, we got to show up. And, uh, you know, uh, we talked about it all training camp. And uh, I think we're going to – everybody's bought in. Hey, Kavon. Uh, Chris, over the course of his career, has been pretty particular about the way he likes his screen set. Um, what's been the process of you guys kind of figuring each other out in terms of angles and spots on the floor to, to set screens? Uh, it's been a lot of trial and error just trying to figure it out. Uh, you know, you, we all kind of play 
pick and roll a certain way on, on defense and on this team. So getting that game reps is uh, going to be key for us just to see how different teams are going to guard them, uh, how they're going to treat them so uh, that we can be able to adjust our screens and, uh, you know, to get them open. You know, and they, they guard him a lot different than they guard Steph or Clay or, uh, or Wiggs. Or, uh, so it's for the bigs to learn, to get used to playing with them. Uh, but the good thing is he's super communi- uh, communicative about everything and he's going to talk you through it. So uh, he makes it easy and he was able to adjust on the fly today. Hey, Kevon, they uh, out-rebound you guys by 11, and Steve said that Josh, Ako- Josh Akoji's uh, four offensive rebounds were a big difference maker. What do you think can be the biggest change there going forward? Uh... No, he was. Uh, he brought a lot of energy to the game. He uh, came up with a lot of loose balls. Uh, he was getting all the long rebounds, and uh, uh, then we just had to be more locked in on the team as a team. To, you know, to, to try to take out guys like him out. Uh, you know, it's easier said than done. You know, he's a great offensive rebounder, uh, but we got to be able to hit him early uh, and discourage him early so he don't keep trying to come in. Uh, I feel like. We did better down the stretch of, of rebounding, but uh, it's going to take a team effort. Uh, I feel like we cracked, we hit the glass pretty well as 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 well on the offensive end, but uh, I think to kind of set the tone in the first half of being real aggressive with us. Come on, you mentioned Chris sort of slowing it down when it got chaotic. How does it feel different when he's out there compared to you know the last several years when when Steph's got the ball in his hands more? Uh. I think is he just balances out, you know. Uh, you know, Steph with the ball is always a, a great thing. He can get any shot he wants. Uh, but you know, sometimes when he's you know a little tired or uh, needs to break off the ball or he's blitzing him or something like that, you know, giving us a change of pace, uh, he can put Steph off the ball, and Chris is able to create shots for himself and others. Uh, I think that's going to be big for us. Uh, throughout the year so we don't wear a step down here having to be on the ball as much the whole game and uh, I think he did a great job tonight he's uh, really efficient with the ball we didn't have as many turnovers so uh, I think uh, that's going to be key for us Is that it?